Hello guys. So I have um, something new that I am trying. I'm going to try to do it um, probably once every six months or so whenever I feel like doing it. But um, there's something that I'm going to do up until the, I want to say Valentine's Day. Um, because I know, you know, that's the time when everybody's wanting to really, like, know what the heck is going on. Um, all throughout the year, we want to know what the hell's going on. But for some reason, Valentine's Day is, like, that time when we feel like, you know, love is in the air and it may stir some feelings or what have you. But anyway, the special is that I am going to do a two-question live call on special for $40 okay and what that means is that um, you guys go directly to the PayPal and you pay for the reading you give me your information but along with your information you also give me um, your phone number because I will contact you but I'm gonna be calling from um, a private number so I definitely need your phone number um, also what else was I gonna say these are gonna be very very uh, short because of course they are questions there are two questions however long it takes me to answer your two questions um, and I don't foresee it taking longer than I'm gonna say five or ten minutes so also when you do that when you do purchase it you'll need to go ahead and um, make sure you email me after you purchase the reading so we can go ahead and set up a time for you because I do not want um, I don't want to overlap so you know it's not going to be the regular seven days out it's going to be whatever time I send you back to schedule your um, live telephone reading and if you know if you've been on the site you'll know that um, there's not very often that I do telephone readings and um, they're 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 kind of up there because I generally don't do those because I have a lot of things going on so um, and, and so that's the reason why I'm also doing like the questions and not just like a 30 minute reading I'm strictly doing questions okay so if you guys are interested in that go ahead and um, uh, hit your girl up so that's what I have for you and we'll get to the reading hello Leo's you know what guys <clears throat> I had started out with um, um, I forget what the name of this deck is god dang it but <clears throat> I was getting ready to um, pick this one up but for some reason I am being drawn to the vice versa tarot for you guys and I bet you that it is inside of my desk here and I have all of this crap on here so I think I'm gonna have to clear all of this stuff off in order to access the cards because for some reason I'll show you all the stuff that's on here and you can't even see all of it for real but there's a lot of stuff on here so I'm going to move it and I'm gonna get right back with you okay so let me let me see real quick all right y'all that's the damn Aries in me when I get something in my head I just have to freaking do it <laughs> sometimes it's a blessing and a curse it's a blessing and a curse guys all right so vice versa hero if you're not familiar with the vice versa tarot there are images on um, both sides of the cards let's see my Leo's what is the energy around Leo's I pulled out two cards here both of them seem pretty um, moody but uh, we have the seven of cups here and we have um, the moon here Hmm. I feel like you're definitely in your feelings. Um, you're, you're at this point where you're really not sure about what it is that you want and, and how you feel at this point. I feel like um, 
you're seeking you're seeking guidance you're seeking advice even um, I, I don't know if you're seeking advice from someone but I definitely feel like you are um, there there there's definitely somebody that you not somebody but some higher power that I feel like you guys are are praying to some of you this is Scorpio and um, this is cancer energy here Feel like you're definitely in your feelings or either there is someone around you that is very much in their feelings um mother figure somebody that's very close to you but yet far away hmm oh wow okay that one flipped over we have the knight of cups I feel like there's somebody that you are, um, somebody you came back to, or I'm saying that you want to be clear about something. You want to be for sure about something because I'm, I'm, your feelings are all in is a thing, but you're not sure if you should be. You're really not sure if you should be. I feel like there's definitely somebody that's on your mind that's really um, got you in your head. A lot of water going on here, guys. What is the underlying issue here for Leos? Underlying. I'm not going to read that in reverse because the cards are all ready. <laughs> you know, this is the bright side of it. And this is the not so bright side of this card um this is the nine of pentacles you see that moon right there hmm now the nine of pentacles you know always symbolizes um abundance being self-confident being confident in who you are and the things that you're doing this is not so much this is feeling defeated there's something about you guys something that's happened that has you feeling defeated and in your feelings virgo energy there Hmm. What was going on in the recent past for Leo's? Okay. Eight of Wands. You traveled. You were communicating with somebody here, Sagittarius energy. Something was going fairly good for you, I'm feeling, in the past. But then all of a sudden, it's like you hit this, this roadblock where you were unsure of yourself or you felt like um, the choice that you made you didn't you question whether or not that was a good choice um, you question whether or not somebody had these these feelings for you you question because there were a lot of things that were unknown to you I think you question whether something was real I'm getting that you so a lot of you guys thought you wanted to be single at one point but now you don't want to but maybe there's there's this feeling of being too late or not not making the right decision hmm. what's the crowning thoughts for Leo crowning thoughts for Leo my god see how these um vice versa cards do for some reason i just felt the need to get them now <clears throat> this one fell on the floor here we have the knight of pentacles now this is you see this side is looking out onto the horizon but this side is like having having a plan already in mind 
But I think what's keeping you from doing it is you guys are all in your head. You're almost feeling like you need to do something different. Like the plan that you have, like it needs adjustments. Because something happened before with this communication, with this move, um, that brought it to a halt. And now it's like you're feeling defeated about it. Somebody here is feeling defeated about it, whether it's you or whether it's the other person, because of course these readings can go vice versa. Right now you have, um, I see Taurus, Virgo in your reading, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Cancer is here in your reading. You're trying to figure out what to do next here. What to do next. There's some potential here. I do feel like you're already at the place where um, where you want to be, but you're really not sure if you've made the right decision. And I feel like you have made the right decision, but there's something that has happened in the past that's got you really confused right now and in your feelings about what to do. I think there is a need for you to decide what it is that's going to make your heart sing here. Who is it that's going to make your heart sing? But it's up to you because I feel like it's here. Even though you, you feel like maybe you didn't make the right decision. I feel, look at this. I'm going to move this up so you can see on top. I feel like it is here. This Ten of Cups, Piscean energy. There's somebody here. But for some reason, you're feeling like you're all alone. But there's somebody here. There's somebody definitely here. What's coming in for Leo's? What's coming in for Leo's? I flipped this over because I'm thinking it's the regular deck, but I mean, hey, it's the Eight of Swords. Look at that. Being bound, trapped in your own thoughts, feeling like you're in a prison. This is Gemini energy here. Feeling like you can't see things clearly. Feeling broken hearted. But I feel like, you know, there's something that you're doing to yourself. Um, I feel like this situation is in your hands. I feel like the magician is here. This is about what you're going to do. What it is that you want. Because I feel like the power is in your hand to change this. And to manifest whatever it is that you want. But you have to know exactly what it is that you want. And you have to go for it. Okay. And not let anything stop you. Is a thing. That is key. How is Leo feeling about this situation? Okay, I got two cards, three cards here. Um, oh, we have the star. Huh. Look at this. A lot of emotions flowing here. Again, like I said, there's somebody here for you. Your soulmate is here. Look at this side. Look at this side. Your soulmate is here. There's somebody here for you. Hmm. And then we have the Eight of Cups. There's somebody walking away. This side is somebody walking away. There's somebody here. You came back for this person. And you feel it. 
even if you didn't physically come to this person, which some of you did, some of you physically came back to a person or somebody physically came back to you. But more so than that, on an emotional level, that person has decided that they are here for you on an emotional level. And for some of you, this is you coming back to a situation that was left some time ago. But you're present here. I feel like there's something that's rooted in your childhood that's like confusing you. Hmm. Piscean Aquarius energy here. And then we have the Queen of Cups with her back turned. Queen of Cups with her back turned, sitting out in the middle of the freaking ocean. Somebody's being stubborn here. And is it you or is it them? But I tell you what, regardless of who it is, you guys are still so very much in each other's energy. There is still a lot of love here. There's still a lot of emotions here. Um, I think somebody's just not willing to face things. That's what I'm seeing. Somebody's not willing to face issues. And I turn this over, but this is supposed to be this way. Somebody's not willing to face issues. Lots of emotions, lots of tears, lots of hurt. Somebody's still very hurt here over somebody leaving. Still very hurt. A lot of hurt, but a lot of love and emotions here as well. What is the influence here for Leo's? Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. I think you want that solid relationship. Definitely want that solid relationship. I feel like um, wanting that commitment is, is what's influencing you right now. You want a solid commitment. You want to know in your heart and in your head that everything is everything. This is also a Virgo energy. Um, again, like I said, at some point, some of you guys wanted to be single and felt like that was what was best for you. But I do feel like, you know, your confidence is lost. For sure here. Your confidence is lost in this relationship, this connection, um, in yourself. Hmm. Hopes or fears for Leo. Hopes or fears for Leo. That one wanted to come out, so we're going to take it. Three of Pentacles. I feel like that your hope is that you can compromise here. That there is room to compromise and work together. Capricorn energy there. What is the overall outcome here for my Leos? Oh, judgment. Judgment, rebirth. I see you coming out on the better side of things with this person honestly making that decision bearing it all putting your heart out there them putting their heart out there there may be a child involved in this situation but I feel like there's a new beginning here there's definitely a new beginning here I'm telling you this this feels so um, so magical to me for some reason because I'm getting that a lot of you or some of you rather are feeling that um, you've lost some hope that this situation can be turned around 
and it's consuming you somewhat but your person is still here they are there's a Scorpio energy here too this is rebirth though this is the other side where you're walking to be judged walking to try to you know see what you can do walking to to like um, face yourselves this is coming out of the decision that you've made and it's brighter it's brighter once you face yourself and admit certain things to yourself right all right guys so that is what i have for you and i'll be speaking with you guys soon bye